All right, let's look at another practice problem. You raise a loan from bank, 100,000, on 1st April 2017. So I'm just going to write the timeline here. So April 1, loan raised. So I'll write a general entry for this. Interest is payable at the end of every year, which means the first year is going to end in 2018, March 31st and then 2019 March 31st and 2020 March 31st. This is the ending of first year, second year and third year. All right. Interest is payable at the end of every year. Therefore, when I pay the interest, a financial transaction is taking place. So I have to pay interest in these three years, pay interest and pay interest interest and interest okay in case the amount is unpaid this interest amount if you don't pay it it is added to the amount of principal which is the loan and therefore if the principal goes up the interest payment also goes up because interest has to be calculated on the principal the tenure is three years it says so first second and third year you uh, and more information you miss the interest payment at the end of year two so this uh, payment is missed uh, which would mean that this interest payment in the second year would be added to the principal which means the calculation of interest in the third year will be equal to uh, will be uh, will be done on the amount equal to principal uh, plus Principal plus the interest, plus the interest. This is the other principal, by the way. So, uh, so now you have to write general entries for it. So let's get started. Show general entry for the tenure of the loan. So 2017 April 1 loan has been raised. When you raise the loan, the money comes in your bank account. So bank account debit and a bank loan has been raised so a liability has to be created a bank loan account credit and you have 100,000 in the debit amount and 100,000 in the credit amount the amount in, is in rupees and you write a short description being loan raised and you could say for XYZ purposes as well from the bank it's just for a quick reference here yeah. okay the year is going to end in 2018 March 31st and you are going to pay the first installment of interest not the installment the first payment of interest this is again a simple uh, loan case where you take the loan at the beginning of the first year and you're going to pay the loan at the end of third year there are no EMI you only pay simple interest so when you pay the interest at the rate 10%, the general entry is going to be interest on loan account debit to bank account, assuming you do payments through the bank. And you will write a narration being interest paid at the rate 10% per annum, simple interest. So when you say 10%, you are going to be paying 10,000 rupees on the loan at the end of first year. So I have now recorded these two transactions. Let us go to this end of second year, which is 2019 uh, and you're going to uh, pay the interest. So 2019 March 31st. You have to pay the interest, but you don't pay the interest. You skip it. It becomes outstanding. How do we write that? So we're going to write interest, interest on loan account, because regardless of whether you pay the interest or not, it is an expense that you have to show. And instead of bank account, you don't pay it. It becomes outstanding expense. It becomes a liability. However, the question says that it is added to the loan account. It becomes a principal. Therefore, instead of writing outstanding uh, interest on loan, we're going to just add it to the principal, to the bank loan. So the bank loan has to be increased now. 
bank loan account. So the 10,000 which was to be paid as an interest has been added to the bank loan. So the bank loan is equal to 100,000 plus this new 10,000. So I would say being interest uh, recorded is not being paid and the principal amount increased. All right, there you go. In the next year, you're going to pay the interest again. Year 2020, March 31st. March 31st, you are going to pay uh, the interest again. So interest this time, interest on loan account debit to uh, bank account. This time you're going to pay it to the uh, bank account, right? And you are going to pay being interest paid at the rate 10% uh, on 110,000. So this is the new principle that you have. So you're going to pay this amount uh, of 10% on 100,000, the uh, initial loan plus the 10,000, which has been added to the loan account. So the interest is equal to 11,000 uh, in this case. So you pay this interest amount. So this is the third year you pay the interest and also now the principal has to be paid at the end of the year. Now this does not clearly say the principal is paid but it tells you that tenure is three years so you have to uh, you know assume it that the uh, you know loan has been is being paid as of the same date. So 2020 March 31st this is the third year at the end of the third year you have to pay the loan when you pay the loan you cancel the loan by saying bank loan account debit and you are going to pay it through the bank account and the amount of bank loan is 110,000 uh, initially the loan amount was 100,000 but uh, the interest amount was added to it so you have to Pay this amount and you can write a narration being loan repaid along with new principal or added principal uh, new interest which was converted into principal so I just you know uh, wrote it like this all right so that is how you convert a loan transaction tenure of a loan these are the journal entries that are going to take place. This can become more complex if you have EMIs that you're paying which includes interest and the principal but you know again those are some advanced cases. If you understand this much the logic is going to remain the same and you can apply it to any other scenario. Okay I'll see you in the next video.